Hello, this is Russell from Doodaddle Widget Works. Today I'm going to go through a quick demo um, in regards to text shadow. So let me go ahead and open up Adobe Muse first. And text shadow will quickly add um, a shadow to any text element that's within Adobe Muse. So let's go ahead and uh, apply shadow to this headline here. Um, not that I'm going to keep it in the design, but it's just good for an example. So we're going to go to do, 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 our library, and we're looking for text shadow. We'll pull that out onto the canvas. And I usually just place this close to the element um, that I'm modifying. Um, these don't show up in the final design, and you'll see that in the uh, preview to browser mode. Well, first things first, we need to create a style for this. Um, I use graphic styles, but believe it or not, I believe paragraph styles will work as well. But I just stick to graphic styles just because I would like to make things consistent. So right now it has a style of none. We're going to give this a graphic style. I'm going to call it text shadow text shadow header. Good. Now that we have that, we're just going to click OK there. You'll see here I have a, a graphic style with um, spaces in it. And I'll show you how to deal with that as well. Um, a lot of times it's easier just to choose a single one word all lowercase um, graphic style so it'll apply very easily in into a widget but uh, you could also use uh, longer names like this like text shadow header um, in that case anywhere there's a space you're just going to want to use a hyphen in there so we'll put that in So as you can see, I got the hyphens in between where the spaces would be. And for this case, we were going to go, I'll just do something bright so you can see it. Change the opacity to 1, which means 100%. I'm going to give it an offset of 0, because I'm just trying to give it a flare around the, the actual font. Uh, blur of yeah, five should now yeah, we'll we'll go to eight. We'll see how that comes out like. And this is if you just want to show the shadow itself. We don't want that, so we want to keep the font there. And if we go ahead and preview this to browser, scroll up here. It kind of gives you an idea of adding just a little bit of um, soft edge to the outside. And as you can see, this is great for SEO because you can select this text. Just to show the shadow only, that text is also still selectable. So it works on all aspects of this. As you can see, you can get it free for a short period of time just by going to our Facebook and liking us on Facebook and then sending me a message. And then I'll reply back to you with the, the free widget. Uh, otherwise, you can certainly purchase it. Uh, it's available for $3.99. If you have any questions at any point in time, feel free to reach out to me. My email is russ at doodaddle.com and look forward to hearing what you do with the uh, text shadow. Until next time.